Hey there, Dave Nason here again, continuing my look at what is new in iOS 14 and particularly from the perspective of voiceover users. This one is a minor but still useful little new feature they have added on, and this is on the back button that we have in apps, generally in the top left corner. For a good example of this, I'm gonna show you it in action in the settings app. So I'm gonna open that now. Settings. Settings. And then I'm going to go to accessibility, but you can go through various different paths to do the same thing. I'm going to go to accessibility. Wallpaper button. Accessibility button. Accessibility features help you customize your iPhone to your individual needs. And then I'm going to go down to voiceover. Vision. Voiceover. On. Voiceover. On. And then I'm going to go down to say voiceover recognition. Tap once. Double tap. Learn. Voice. Speaking rate. Heading. Voice. Sp speaking. Speech. Braille. B voiceover recognition. But using on device intelligence your eye and then i am going to select image descriptions on button image descriptions for example image descriptions on so i've gone down through several menus there i've drilled several layers into the settings app here so what if i wanted to go back to the start and go back to the main settings panel I would have previously had to press back and back again and back again and back again about four, four or five times to get back to the start. What I can do now is go to the back button in the top left. Voice over recognition, back button. And instead of simply doubling, double tapping that, I am going to double tap and hold. And we hear a little sound that lets us know a little menu has now opened. So I've done a kind of what you might call a long press, the double tap and hold. And it's opened up this little menu. I'm going to swipe right now to go through. Voice over button. So I can go back to. Voice over recognition button. The top voice over recognition, which is the previous menu. Voice over button. Voice over was the next one. Accessibility button. Accessibility. Settings button. Or settings. So I can select on any of them to go back to that menu. So I'm going to select settings. Settings. Heading. Search. Search field. David Nason. Airplane mode. On. David Nason, Apple ID, iCloud, airplane mode, on. And I am back on the main settings screen. So it's just a handy little way to go back through a, you know, list of screens. And that way, without having to go back screen by screen by screen, you can just jump back to the one you want to go to very quickly. And that's it, really. It's just quite handy. I've seen this working, obviously, in this settings app, in the likes of photos as well by Apple. Your mileage may vary in third-party apps, depending on whether it's been implemented and so on. But... Um, it is a useful little feature. Hope that's helpful. Please do like, subscribe and share it. And for loads more on iOS 14, check out www.applevis.com. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.